Good morning guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Maddie and I'm so glad you're here. I make a lot of college content, a lot of vlogs, a lot of productive vlogs, all that good stuff. So if you guys enjoy watching that, make sure you go subscribe down below. So clearly we're vlogging today. It's gonna be a chill vlog. It's already 11, so I didn't have my usual productive morning, but it's a Saturday, so I kind of felt like I deserved a break because it's been a really busy week and I'm really really excited because this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. I've worked with Ana Luisa for a while now and I am obsessed with their jewelry so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about Ana Luisa right now. Ana Luisa is an everyday luxury jewelry brand that focuses on sustainability. All of their materials are ethically sourced and include 100% recycled gold. Their jewelry is handcrafted in the US and France, and they're actually the first direct-to-consumer jewelry brand to become carbon neutral. Their pieces are tarnish-free and long-lasting, and they have absolutely no luxury markups. Every single one of their jewelry pieces is priced very fairly, and their pieces to start at $39. I absolutely love that I am supporting a company that is sustainable and keeps the environment in mind when creating their pieces. It's so important to me to be promoting great companies with my platform and Ana Luisa is definitely one of those. So all the jewelry that I am wearing in today's video is from Ana Luisa. They gifted me these really pretty gold hoop earrings. This gorgeous heart lock and key necklace and the cutest little dainty ring ever. I'm obsessed. I love little dainty pieces of jewelry because I can just wear them with any outfit. Like I'm literally wearing a sweatshirt today and all these jewelry pieces just kind of complete the outfit and make it look a million times cuter. So here's their website for you guys to go check out and I will also leave all their information in the down bar below, including their Instagram and the coupon code they gave me to share with you guys. So I'll also leave that up on the screen right here. Definitely go take it advantage of that coupon code and go check out their website. So Ana Luisa wanted me to share all of these amazing pieces of jewelry with you and share their message of the importance of the simple moments in life. Now with everything going on, you can really get caught up in like an everyday routine and just kind of feeling like every day is the same kind of day. But they really want you to see the beauty in the simple moments in your life that really make you the happiest. Whether that's taking a nap or watching your favorite TV show or going and grabbing some Starbucks to treat yourself which is what I'm gonna be doing today. So yeah, I really hope you guys go and check them out, but back to today's vlog. So we're gonna head to Starbucks right now. I don't normally go to Starbucks anymore. I have an espresso machine. I have all the stuff at home to make my own coffee, but sometimes it's just really nice to treat yourself. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And my sister also gifted me a Starbucks gift card a couple weeks ago, so I haven't used that yet. So I'm gonna use that today. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on all my social media the links are going to be in the down bar below and without further ado let's just get into the vlog okay we made it to starbucks i have no idea what i want to get i think i want to get a cold brew something i don't know but i'll be back and i'll show you guys what i got <laughs> Okay, so it's like 20 minutes later. It kind of took a while, but it was definitely faster than the drive-thru. I got my stuff. So I went in there and I was like second in line when I got in there and I panicked and I did not know what to order because I wasn't ready. <laughs> so I got a grande cold brew with vanilla syrup. I don't know how many pumps they put in it, but I just said like the normal amount for a grande. And then I got the vanilla sweet cream cold foam. I haven't tried it yet. I'm kind of nervous, but it looks amazing. Okay, that's pretty good. I definitely would have preferred it to be a little bit sweeter. And then I also got a bacon beauty sandwich. A little taste test. Oh my god. That is amazing. I'm mad. Why is that so good? Literally amazing, but we have homework to do. So we're gonna head to the library right now. Um, see you guys when I'm there because I don't vlog and drive because that's not safe. So see you in like 20 minutes. Okay, I made it to the library and there's like people standing outside waiting to get into the library thing. It's 11.54 right now, so they don't open for another six minutes. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat my sandwich. 
literally so good also i know this vlog has like only been in the car so far but that's okay i also texted my sister and thanked her for the starbucks because she gave me the gift card and with the gift card it was only like four dollars i love that <laughs> Okay, so we made it to the library, obviously. I think I'm like the only one on this floor. There's like no one here. But yeah, this is my favorite floor of the library. It's so nice and bright and it's so pretty. All of the windows and everything. It's so nice. So I am going to start my research project for my add in PR class. So I'm gonna get working on that. I'll make a to-do list, don't worry. Haven't done that yet today. So yeah, I'm just going to, you know, enjoy my coffee, make a to-do list, and get working on everything. In the morning, down in the kitchen, watching TV. You were the music. That led me to the sixth string Now it's been so long since I've heard you sing I looked up to Okay, I'm actually not gonna make a to-do list because um, I was thinking and literally the only thing I need to do is this client secondary research draft. Yeah, that's literally all I have to do <laughs> when I'm here. So there's no point in making a to-do list. Here's my homework to-do list for the week. Almost everything is checked off. I just have that and some readings for my history class. That is literally it. So no to-do list for today. Sorry guys. for coffee first stop past the place Okay, so it's an hour later and I am like barely even started on this, honestly. I have been doing a little bit of research and trying to find some scholarly journals and stuff to use, but I forgot that she, my professor, like gave us a guide to kind of figure out how to do the secondary research, but there's just like so much to it and there's just, it's just a lot. So I'm trying to figure out like how to even go about this because there are just so many different parts to it but it's one o'clock now i'm gonna take like a five minute break see this is what i'm working on and this is like the plan that she gave us and basically the project is i don't know it's like creating a whole branding campaign for an actual client so it's kind of cool because we're doing stuff that would be like done in the real world i guess in this field but it's just so much like there's so many different parts to it so it's a little stressful so those things are supposed to have like outlets in them and there's one there one over there and one down there and none of them did so i had to do some rearranging and gooch everything back because there was an actual like wall outlet over down there but we made it work and i plugged my laptop in so thankfully we don't have to move you walk into the altar and now she's gonna share our family's name I looked up to you, brother Even when you lost your way In the madness of New York City Oh, you found her And now I know there's hope for me I know there's hope for me I know there's hope for me In the madness, wherever I may be Love is something you two make me believe Be 
basement in Brooklyn The first day I met her I could see it in your face She was all that you need I knew from the moment She was begging you to just sing She'd be my sister And she would be your everything I looked up to it's 3.16 now. I'm still working on all of my stuff. This is taking literally forever. It's so hard to find good um, like scholarly journals to go off of because this is such like a specific topic. I need to prove my reasoning and all of that, which you guys probably just don't care about my assignment, but it's due tomorrow and I'm a little nervous about it because it's like probably halfway done which isn't bad but i would rather be just done with it also i think i showed you but i did take a break and i planned out my upcoming week because it was stressing me out just thinking about it next week is midterms which i don't have that much to do for next week like midterm wise like most of my classes don't have exams or anything like that so that's pretty nice but it's pretty much just like projects that we have to do so that was stressing me out a little bit so i took some time and planned out my week and i just also have like a lot of youtube work to get done next week so that's all planned out which is really nice kind of relieves some of the stress for me but this project is just killing me even when you lost your way in the madness of new york city okay so i just got out of the library it's actually really nice outside i think it's like 40 degrees right now which doesn't sound very nice but it is very nice <laughs> it's actually 42 so it's a beautiful day it's 3 36 right now i'm gonna go home i need to film the clip about anna luisa that you guys already saw but yeah the library was so nice the vibes were perfect I had my Starbucks. There was no one around me, but I was like in my favorite place in the library. I was getting a lot of stuff done. I was being productive. Like everything was just perfect. <laughs> it was sunny outside, so it really set the mood. And it was just a great time. And that was actually, I don't remember if I told you guys this, but that was the first time I've actually been to the library, especially in the beginning of the year when the COVID cases were really high here. I thought that would not be a good idea so obviously I didn't go but now we're down to like under 10 cases or something like that it's like a really 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 low number so I definitely felt safe going there everyone was wearing masks it was honestly just really nice to get out of my apartment and do homework somewhere other than my room or the living room so I honestly had a really good time I felt really productive and the vibes like I said were just perfect <sighs> I'm like out of breath from talking <laughs> anyways I'm gonna go home see you guys when I'm there Guys, I just got a really exciting package. This is for a future video coming very soon. Guys, I'm so excited. I never cared much for the traffic in Midtown. So I moved down south. I don't know where you are now. It's getting exhausting trying to imagine settling down when it's already happened. A piece of my heart is stuck in Manhattan. The last four years, you're all I've known. I guess I forgot how to be on my own. I'm going out of my mind, trying to put you out of my mind. Am I just wasting my time? What do you think about the feta pasta though? I don't think I don't think it's good. Rude. It's time. Keep wondering if you're doing fine. Trying to put me out of your mind while I'm going out of my mind. I'm going out of my mind. I'm boxing up shit that you left on my nightstand. I have to wear Never what I plan The hoodies, the t-shirts, the handwritten notes The book from your parents, I never let go so much Okay, time for an official taste test of the feta pasta 
Okay, wait, that's actually really good. It doesn't look the cutest, but it's so good actually. Actually a 10 out of 10, this is amazing. <laughs> In my last vlog, I bought these containers, so I finally can use them because I have to put the extras away, but they're just plastic containers. I don't know why I'm so excited about these. I have like zero containers here. I left them all at home for some reason, but the feta pasta was really, really good. I did get tomato stuff all over my sweatshirt though, so I'm kind of disappointed about that. Doug and I are about to make what? our funfetti oh, cupcakes. No. <laughs> and the I egg can't went you've to done the floor. This. this is what we're making. It's funfetti and we're gonna put it in a loaf pan instead of cupcakes. So we're gonna see how that goes. cake thing the loaf is in the oven and we're waiting for that to cook but doug agreed well okay so we were watching tv when we were eating earlier and harry potter and the order of the phoenix was on and i like harry potter so i was watching it and doug was like half watching it he started like asking questions about it and he was like I actually want to watch this. So we're going to start watching the Harry Potter series. We might skip the first movie because he said that he kind of remembers it. But I'm not opposed to that because I hate the first movie. I've seen it a bajillion times. Okay, we have our cake loaf and we're going to let it chill out for a little bit. Okay, how are you feeling about Harry Potter? It's pretty good right now. We're watching the Chamber of Secrets. We skipped the first one. The first one's no go. Okay, here's our beautiful loaf cake. It's a little overcooked. Just well, not. I mean, it looks a little brown, but it's okay. It's good. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Our cake loaf was amazing, and now we're just watching Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets. There we go. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa and all of their jewelries. Their info will be in the description box down below. And also, of course, subscribe and comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and <laughs> um, follow me on all my social media. The all links are in the down bar below. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Take me to no places, give my heart